you know, through legal warriors, think like a criminal defense attorney. Do we think? Yes, we do. Do we think a certain way? Yes, we do. And if you learn to think like we do in a criminal case, you're likely going to get a better result. If you're interested in this area of the law, stay tuned. This is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Schreier. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm is to defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years. And I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get the help they need. Now I'm just going to jump right into it. Think like a criminal defense attorney. And now we all think differently, but I'm going to talk about how at least people in my law firm think. I'm going to cover how we think, uh, why we think that way, um, and why you maybe being along for the ride can help us if you think the same way as we do and how we defend a case. So what do we think about as criminal defense attorneys? I think the first thing that we think about is how we can help benefit our client, uh, not only in the case, but also in their life. So I want you to think about, you know, what got you in this situation, right? You might be uh, totally wrong and innocent, but you also might have some part of doing something wrong. Maybe you stole something. Maybe you got into a fight with your spouse or maybe you drank too much. So we are going to think as criminal defense attorneys in my law firm about, hey, what is the backstory? What's the relationship between parents of the suspect or siblings or spouse or their children? You know, what does their support system look like? What messages are they telling themselves that got them here? And how do we start to push back against those messages so we don't get back in that situation again and have another crime or another allegation? So if uh, you, know, you are in a position uh, that you also are thinking about uh, what got you in this situation, you might be more able to share um, with us attorneys and therefore we might do a better job of trying to help you get not only the help that might help your life, but also help your case. Because again, we're gonna to try to make uh, the prosecutor understand that we're not gonna waste this crisis, that we're gonna have an improvement while we also defend and show that we're, they didn't do everything we, they said we did, hopefully. Um, but that's always part of the process is how can we look at our role and what God is here and how can we improve ourselves as part of the pitch we're going to make to the prosecutor to let you go eventually? So secondarily, how we think, like a criminal defense attorney thinks, is, you know, what are the factual problems in the case, right? What is, you know, what did the officer do wrong in the field sobriety testing? Did, you know, what was the situation like in a DUI? Was the field sobriety testing on a hill? Was it dark? Was it rainy? Um, when it comes to an assault case, right? Um, what is the actual uh, claim of the, the alleged victim about where something happened? Um, you know, and only you, uh, client, if you want to think like us, only you can really provide us the information we need uh, about what happened because you were there and we weren't. So we want you to think like we do about think in detailed facts about what happens. Think about physically where something uh, took place because that is... A harder thing to debate is the physics of it, right? You know, if the hill was there, it's still a hill. You know, if the, the coffee table was a certain spot, so therefore the crime couldn't have happened in the way that they say it happened, well, it's probably in the same spot, right? I've been to many houses uh, involving uh, to take photos of furniture and, and look where supposedly something went down to try to show a prosecutor it couldn't have happened how the alleged victim said it happened. So, you know, we're also thinking about uh, the facts, right, and, and how we can show the facts. So think like us in that way. How else are we thinking? Well, we're thinking, what are your collateral consequences in your life, right? In other words, are you an immigrant? Are you on an H-1B visa? Do you have a green card? Uh, do you have a commercial driver's license? You know, how is, you know, you're on a student visa? You know, how is a crime conviction going to affect your life? Are you a nurse? Do you have a sensitive population you work with and you're charged with something that's going to cost you your job? Um, well, attorneys like us, we might have enough experience to guess from thousands of clients how it's going to affect you. But if you think like us and think about how this situation can negatively affect your future and tell us about it, that's something we can use, right? 
that's something we can use to make the prosecutor be careful because prosecutors, for the most part, 90% of them, I think, really are trying to do good all around, right? They might be against the defendant, but they're also understand proportionality, right? That uh, if one uh, person has a higher level of harm that may befall them based upon their job or their status, they can still maybe find a way to respond in the case that holds someone accountable without making those negatives happen. So think like we do. Think about what are the possible consequences that might befall you. And then finally, think like we do. Be realistic, right? Be realistic in what it is we might be able to accomplish. What type of outcomes are good enough to avoid those negative consequences while still um, you know, getting you out of this problem, right? So in courts where they have stipulated orders of continuances, that's a contract usually for the continuance, typically with a dismissal at the end if someone avoids certain problems and does affirmative things like classes. Um, in those courts, we know it's going to be harder to get a prosecutor to just outright dismiss a case because they have an SOC available, which still leads to a dismissal, but it gives the prosecutor some cover in case you make a mistake and get into a new crime during the continuance period, right? If, an S if a case is continued on an SOC for 12 months, that gives the prosecutor 12 months of more likely lawful behavior from the person they're taking a chance and letting go because the police report they have says that person's guilty. So think like we do, think realistically. Also think though, if the case is total garbage for the prosec prosecution, you know, ask the attorney, you know, and think like we do, you know, can we and should we try to get more in this case for a certain reason where we think we can actually get it, right? Um, because if you push for too much from a prosecutor, um, and they don't give it to you. Sometimes now all deals are off and you're stuck at a trial. You probably don't want that either unless you've got a really great case and a lot of money to pay for the trial also. So um, I want you to think like that criminal defense attorney and then also think like this when the case is over, right? When the case is over, we want to uh, you know, try to uh, you know, maintain some level of contact with our clients because um, you know, it, it, it helps to try to avoid future problems. So think like we do. Just don't forget about your attorney once it's over. We want to know how you're doing. We, we hope you're doing well. There might be stuff we have to continue afterwards. But, um, you know, for the most part, how we think about things here is uh, once we work with someone, we're going to be working with them forever in a way in that, uh, you know, we get to know a lot about each other at a very difficult time. So, so learn to think like a criminal defense attorney. Be one step ahead and you're gonna have a better chance of a good result in your case. So if you found this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get the help they need, and more importantly, if you have a criminal matter in Washington State, feel free to give my office a call. We'll listen to what happened, we'll identify a way forward, and we will be there for you. Thank you.